What's up team? Coach Ryan here and today I want to talk to you guys about a hidden secret that nobody really talks about when it comes to accomplishing goals and achieving the things you're trying to accomplish in your life. Okay, so you're all familiar with setting goals, but most people, one, they set very generic goals. So it's like, I just want to lose weight, right? And that's one, one, one way to put it, but there's always a deeper reason, okay? And in our industry, they call it like, you know your why. So have a why that makes you cry or know your deep core reason, right? Well, this one, I call it their emotional motivators, okay? So the hidden secret is emotional motivators. You're tying your goal to something emotional, Okay, so for example, when people say they want to lose weight, the goal really isn't that they want to lose weight. There's something deeper than that. You have to go further and you have to find that emotional core reason why you want to achieve that goal. So for example, if it is to lose weight, well, they probably want to lose a certain amount of weight. So they'll have to become clear by using smart goals to actually come clear exactly when and what goal you want to achieve. So for example, it could be like, I want to lose 20 pounds by July 12th, my birthday, right? But it's not that they just want to lose 20 pounds. There's a reason and they have to ask themselves why seven layers deep, how deep can you go? All right. And for example, someone could ask themselves like i want to lose weight um because i want to look better well then why do you want to look better because i want my husband to look at me the same why do you want my your husband to look at you the same well because he doesn't look at me the way he used to and i fear losing him why do you feel losing him because we have children we have created a life and i don't want to lose them right so that's getting deeper and deeper and as you keep on asking why you're going to get deeper and deeper to that core core reason and most likely it's going to be like you know i don't want to get divorced because and i want to lose 20 pounds because i want my husband to look at me a certain way the way they used to look at me when i was younger and i want to look how i looked when i was younger and feel like i looked when i was younger and i want to make sure that he stays in my life forever and that i am the best person that i can be so that, that makes makes him happy and it makes my children happy and now you're kind of getting somewhere okay because now you're able to link that goal back to emotion anytime so anytime you don't want to go to the gym anytime you don't want to eat your meal plan anytime you don't want to drink water anytime you don't want to eat your supplements guess what you're not just going to remind yourself oh i want to lose 20 pounds you're going to think I don't want to lose my family. I don't want to lose my husband. I don't want to lose my children. I want to be the most best version of myself so that I could stay in their lives and be a positive, positive individual for them who uplifts my family and is there for them at all times and can give the most to them. So that is how you have an emotional, emotional attachment to a goal. So for another example, it might be a man who wants to lose 20 pounds by July 12th by his birthday so that he can actually play baseball with his son, right? Maybe he's an older man in his 60s, he's getting older and he guess what, he can't do the things he used to do. So now he wants to get, lose that weight so that he can actually go play ball with his boy, right? So you have to find it, you know, this guy. So when he wakes up every day, he's not gonna think I have to lose 20 pounds. He's gonna think I need to eat that food. I need to be disciplined, be strict. I need to get my training in because I wanna play ball with my son forever, right? And that's how you have to tie emotions to your goals so that you always link it back to something greater than what you're actually working towards and something greater than yourself. All right, so you guys have to, have to, have to find a deep emotional motivator and link it to your goal. Therefore, you're not gonna lose. Because when you have deep, deep reasoning behind every time you have to do something that you don't wanna do, but you can link it back to something great, then you're gonna crush it every single time. And that's what most people are missing from their goals. They are very basic, like I wanna lose weight. And then guess what? They get very specific, but then they don't tie something emotional to that goal that's gonna force them to every day get after it until it is done and accomplished, right?
So guys, I encourage you guys to one, set goals, but to also find emotional motivators to link back to those goals so that you guys can crush it and dominate and live, get accomplish the dreams you guys want in your life. So I want you guys to get after it. I want you guys to be great and dominate and keep living that Fit and 42 life and find those emotional motivators. They're gonna drive you every single day and let those be your driving force until you accomplish your dreams. Take care.